faithful. I looked it up. It's thankful, showing thanks to another person. Now listen to this. I can understand this part of the definition. It says affording comfort and pleasure. And I didn't understand it at first. But what the Lord said to me is that when you become grateful, you will, you will extend comfort and pleasure to the person, to the thing, to the place that you are grateful for. Gratitude is a feeling of thankfulness and appreciation. So when I thought about that and the whole meaning, I said, what's well, something that's missing though? Because what God dealt with me and when I didn't see the definition that hit what God, so God said, I'm going to give you my definition of gratitude and gratefulness. He said, gratitude takes the ability to assess value and worth and then showing appreciation for the efforts made. Thank you, Jesus. That's what he told me gratefulness is. He, and then he says, if you're not, not being thankful or grateful, because grateful is being thankful. He said, not being thankful is demeaning the value and need for a person, place, or things surrounding you. So when you no longer assess the value of something, you tend to become ungrateful. And then he broke it down and said that being ungrateful is an over-elevated self-worth. Now this is God giving me his definitions of it. So I'm saying, how is that? He said, because when you become ungrateful, you start to think, I deserve better. That's what ungrateful is. Why can't he do this for me? Or why can't they do this for me? Or why is this not like this? I deserve it to be this way. He said it's an over-elevated self-worth. Now we're going to go to the scriptures about what happens when we're not grateful, which in turn is thankful. Because if you look up the word grateful, you'll see the word thankful. Enter into his gates with what? Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. And into his courts with praise and do what? Be thankful. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. So you can change the word Thanksgiving to gratefulness. Enter into his gates with gratefulness and into his courts with praise and be grateful unto him. So the Lord said, the reason you don't hear some people praising is because they're not thankful. If you don't have gratitude, you won't say, thank you, baby. You're not going to say thank you if you're not thankful, are you? You know, if you go somewhere and the service is not good, you're not going to tell that waiter, thank you. So when we are not thankful, when we're not giving thanksgiving, when we're not praising, it, it means because we don't have gratitude. So if we can't be grateful to the people that God has given us in our lives, how are we going to be grateful to God who we don't even see? Because God placed those people in our lives so that we can see Him and cherish Him and love Him through them. How many believe that? Thank you, Jesus. So, so if, we, if we say, Lord, I love you, but no, I'm not thankful for this person who put in my life. It's just like Adam when he told God, it's that woman you gave me. Ultimately, he blamed God. He said, it's that woman you gave me. So I, I, he wasn't grateful. She wasn't great. The, the lack of gratitude caused them not to see the value in what God had already said they could have. So then what God told them not to have seemed appealing because they were no longer grateful for what he said they could have. And that always causes you to reach for something that's not intended to be yours. And I'm going to tell you what, after God gave me the sermon, then he allowed me and my husband, my husband saw the movie, and he allowed us to watch a movie that gave the whole visual of how damaging ungratefulness can be. And if you haven't watched it, look it up. It's called uh, Restraining Order. That movie 
will show you what the small seed of ungratefulness would do when it grows. She became so ungrateful that she drove her man to, I can't even, I don't want to spoil the movie, you just got to watch it. And so what we do when we're ungrateful to a person is it affects the other person. And then the negativity is magnified so then everything they do gets on your nerve. And then it seems worse and they, so then you no longer want to be in their company because they, they get on your nerve. And believe it or not, because you feel that way, there's a foul spirit around you and they don't want to be around you either. So now you think it's them because they don't want to be around you and they don't want to be around you because it's you. Because you're ungrateful and your spirit, think about this. You ever walked in a room and you felt funny like somebody was talking about you? And they didn't say nothing to you and they, they changed the subject, but you feel something funny. Why do we think we can feel some other people can't? Amen. So if you got a problem with your spouse, with your, 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 your wife, your, your co-workers, and you think they don't have enough discernment to feel that there's something ill going on with them, and they, they may not even know why, they just know, I don't feel comfortable around them no more. Mm -hmm. And God let me know that my ungratefulness had made my husband uncomfortable with my presence. So he wanted to go play some music, go study, go do some, something, because that spirit, he, he probably didn't even understand what it was. But when God showed me what it was, it has made a difference. We enjoy each other's company. We want to go out together. We watch movies. I mean, we just... It just made everything so beautiful. Made the house feel better. There's a better spirit around. People that see us notice something different. You know, look like we in love again. Because ungratefulness will destroy 